to build my team. As promised, a 10 million coin team builder. The other beauty is I just made the playoffs in this account and I have zero players on it. So after we build this absolute god squad, we'll see if we can take it all the way to the Super Bowl and get a ring. Now you might be asking yourself, Papa Meeks, how did you get exactly 10 million coins on your account? Well, my daddy works for EA and he let me have his credit card. Thanks, dad -a. I won't waste your guys' time. The rules are pretty simple in the sense that there uh -huh. are none. I can buy whoever I want. So wheel spins. And we got 10 million coins. Now that's a little less than a half a million coins for every single player. But I don't think it's going to pan out like that. There are certain positions that will be well under and certain they'll be well over. First things first, our quarterback. Who's going to captain this offense? Now, John Elway is 2.9 million coins. He's the most expensive quarterback in the game. But I don't like this John Elway at all. I really like the ability to scramble. So I'm looking for 89 plus speed. And honestly, this is just lame, bro. I'm not trying to use protected hot route master John Elway. I'm just not, I just don't want to do it. Now this 94 Michael Vick is pretty much exactly what I was talking about. The only thing is he's lefty. Lefty quarterbacks are just weird. I don't like it. I like rolling out right. I'm so used to it. I don't know. I think I established that bad habit with Lamar and like Madden 20 or something, but I'm honestly leaning towards 94 overall Trevor Lawrence. He's six foot six, so he's huge. He's 88 speed. His stats are amazing. I don't know what abilities he gets. I know I was saying I want to scramble, but Jimmy G just broke his foot, so he's out for the season in real life. I might pay homage to him and go with the 93 overall Jimmy G. He is slower than T-Law. Oh, he's so handsome too, though. I'm going Jimmy G, bro. Jimmy G is going to be a quarterback. This is a quarterback I would never use unless I was doing like a 10 million coin team builder, so let's run it. Also, just got a brand new pair of shoes. It comes from the brand Vessi. And if you haven't heard of Vessi, these shoes will change your life. And that's why we're partnering on today's video. Now, this model right here is the Cityscape in black. But what truly makes these shoes so amazing is Vessi's are 100% waterproof. They're the perfect shoe to put at your front door because they're insanely comfortable. They look awesome. And it doesn't matter what you're going to encounter outside because Vessi's can handle it. It's got this awesome material called Dymatex. Keeps you cool in the summer and warm in the winter. And it's why Vessis are so comfortable, lightweight, and breathable. My personal example is every time I walk Luna, I just slide my Vessis on and it's one less thing to worry about. If Luna wants to run in a puddle, I'm coming with you. And this is the perfect time of the year to be getting Vessis. I got my mom a pair. I got my dad a pair. I got my girlfriend a pair. So if you need a Christmas gift, Vessis would look pretty good under the tree. They have tons of different style options, tons of different colorways. I know you'll find something you love. Plus, I can get you a discount. You can check out Vessis holiday sale at Vessi com forward slash mmg grab the style and size you want now before they sell out and if you miss the sale don't worry you can always use code mmg to get 15 percent off your entire order and enjoy the rest of the video halfback oh this is an easy decision for me at halfback probably the best halfback in the game and it's not even close i guess there is that marshall falk with this saquon barkley oh it's so nasty 94 speed he's 233 pounds which is very heavy for a running back at least at his height so he's gonna blow people up 94 break tackle the most important stat for your running back 93 acceleration 91 change of direction 91 trucking he's insane the only thing i do not like about this saquon is he doesn't get back backfield master. It's the only thing I don't like about this Saquon because he's an elusive back instead of a receiving back. That's probably accurate for real life, but honestly, Saquon can do pretty much anything at his position, so I'm excited to have Saquon. What's crazy, though, he's only 407k. Like, I don't even know how we're going to spend all 10 mil. At tight end, you have to go with 94 overall Travis Kelsey. 431k is actually a real good price. I'm going to pick this up real quick, and then we'll look at the stats. The best tight end of the game, and it ain't close. 92 speeds. 6'5". The only thing is you kind of want a tight end to be a little bit taller because ag catching is the meta, but 6'5", Travis Kelsey with the speed, the route runs. Also, all these really good cards get a ton of discounted abilities and really good ones. For example, he gets 1 AP tight end apprentice and 1 AP red zone threat, so you could slap both on for 2 AP and you could do whatever you want. I'll be honest, the 94 overall wide receivers are not my favorite. I do not
not like Larry Fitz. He's too clunky without being big enough, right? Like Megatron is really, really good. They made Megatron so much better than Larry Fitz. They're both 94 overalls, but Megatron's in his own league. 6'5", 236, 94 speed. We are probably going to be picking up a lot of the all Madden players, the 94s, because those are the best cards in the game right now. I'm recording this about a week before the Christmas promo. I didn't want this to bleed into the Christmas promo in case I want to do another one. So I wanted to get this one out now. Wow, Jalen Waddle shot to 1.2 million coins. I did not realize that. He is crazy fast. He's a very good wide receiver, but 1.2 mil is too much. Hey, we're breaded up. We got the 10 mil, so I'm going to get the best wide receiver in the game. Megatron, Jalen Waddle. Who's our third wide receiver, though? Yeah, I don't know. I don't think this is a 1.2 mil card. He is the fastest wide receiver in the game, but it's not by much. Tyreek has 93. Jay Jettis has 93. Steve Smith might even have 94, so he ties. My third wide receiver, dude, I do not know why, but this Cooper Cup is one of my absolute favorite cards. I don't know if I'm just racist or what, but this Cooper Cup just runs the crispiest routes whenever someone does the cheese man coverage meta against you. Cooper Cup is like my go-to guy. Stats-wise, he's like, okay, I don't know why he like outperforms his stats, if that makes sense. You know when you use a card and they're just that good? It reminds me of gold Jalen Hurts last year, if you guys remember that. But yeah, uh, this will be my third wide receiver, and he's 249,000, which is, I mean, nothing for this team. We pretty much secured our offense, still need O-line, and we're about 3 million coins in, so we're doing all right. I'm a little over budget, I'd say, right now on all the things I just bought. Uh, fullbacks, there are higher overall fullbacks than Nigerian Nightmare. Mayor, but it should come as no surprise to anyone who watches my videos. This is the best fucking fullback in the game. This is the best card in the game. I truly believe Nigerian Nightmare fullback is the best card in the game. So yeah, that was an obvious pickup at fullback. He's only 100k. It's it's a crime. Next up is going to be O-line and getting discounted abilities is really the only offensive lineman we're going to buy. So for example, so Deion Dawkins, I'm sure Deion Dawkins is a really good left tackle. Deion Dawkins does not get discounted edge protector. However, 93 overall John Jonathan Ogden does. He also gets one AP identifier, which is huge. You needed at least one player with that. I didn't even realize Ogden got it, but the defensive meta is edge threat elites and under pressure. So to counter under pressure, you got to put fearless on your quarterback, which I can give to Jimmy G. He actually gets that discounted. And to counter edge threat, you need edge protector. So getting those discounted will be huge. Now, if I can get a left guard who gets post up for one AP, that would be awesome. Ironically, it's the guy on our screen who gets it. He gets one AP post up at left guard. Hold, okay, you, you want to talk about plumbers and mailmen, bro? Look at this dude's face mask. I hate to be an MM casual. This guy may very well have been an absolute savage. I tend to run the ball more than I pass, although it's kind of like a 60-40 split, and his run blocking stats are really, really good. This is my boy right here. Let's get it. At center, I'm going 93 overall Jeff Saturday for 250k. I don't think I'll put any abilities on him, so I'm not too worried about that. Some people do run nasty streak or post up on the center, which can be really good. I don't think I'm going to have the room for it on abilities, but I can always come back to the drawing board. Right guard, I'm getting Zach Martin. He also gets one AP nasty streak and one AP post up. So I can kind of pick and choose there. I'm always on the fence. I really like post up. I also really like nasty streak. You usually don't have enough AP for both. That'll be a game time decision. Now for my right tackle, this will look a little weird, but there's no super good right tackle who gets one AP edge protector. Trent Williams does get it. Trent Williams is an amazing tackle. Uh, 91 strength. His stats are spectacular. He's also 320 pounds. So he's a big boy and he gets one AP edge protector. He's also only 150k. Let's go take a look at offense before I get too stir crazy and go to defense. We're at 5.2 mil, which is amazing. However, I don't have any depth right now. For example, I would like a backup tight end, potentially a backup running back too. But let's see our best team overall. Oh my God. God, this team is insane. <laughs> so Jonathan Ogden, one AP edge protector. Amazing. That's all we need for you. And we'll do one AP identifier, actually. I love identifier. I am going to give our boy Ed post up. Oh, or do I do nasty streak? It's so hard to decide. I'm actually going to run nasty streak. I usually run post up, so I'm going to get weird with it. Zach Martin, same deal. I'm going nasty streak. Now, Travis Kelsey, I think I will put double me. So one of my X factors will end up on Travis Kelsey. I use tight ends a lot. They're really broken. One AP tight end apprentice. I do 
don't know if I'll run red zone yet, though. Red zone threat for 1 AP is really nice. I'd much prefer deep out elite, but since he doesn't have a discount on it, it would be 3 AP. So I might just end up running tight end apprentice and nothing else. Megatron does get a discount at deep out elite. This is kind of my bailout mechanic here. I'm going to Megatron on deep out elite. He is absolutely insane, so it's gonna be a problem. He's basically Travis Kelsey's size at wide receiver. Christian Okoye, the secret weapon, the secret sauce to every single team I run. Vanguard, 1 AP. It has so much utility, it's insane. Not only is it crazy good for blowing up everybody on blocks, but it also frees up kick return lanes all the time. You guys have seen it in my videos, but he'll fucking, he'll just flatten two dudes. That's two less people that can tackle you on a kickoff, and kickoffs are already busted. Now, the essentials for Jimmy G. Ability-wise, I usually go run and gun, but this is a scenario where I will go gambit. I think gambit is an amazing ability. It used to be called gambler. I wonder if they took that out for Calvin Ridley. It's faster passes, which is just amazing in and of itself, and AI defenders can't pick you off. If you're playing somebody good, they're not gonna let the AI pick you off, except, you know when like a D tackle or a D end will randomly get some crazy animation and it intercept you? Can't happen if you got Gambit on. They would have to switch on to the D tackle. So that's why I really like that ability. Set feet lead is really good. I don't have a lot of practice with it. So I'm scared that this might throw my game off a little bit. The essential thing is fearless and protected. Those are the two that I really, really want. Fearless and protected for four AP right there would be six if I wanted set feet lead. And I definitely want to give Saquon abilities. We're going to give Saquon freight train. The running back is very, very, very important in my scheme. He gets one AP evasive, which I'm not through the moon about. He gets two AP tank, which is really, really, really strong ability. He does not get running back apprentice though. That's the big thing. Running back apprentice would have been amazing on him. I'm going to go tank and let's look at how our AP is right now and see if slash where we need to make some adjustments. Saquon with Freight Train, Kelsey with Double Me, Megatron with Deep Out Elite, Ogden with Identifier Edge Protector, Jimmy G with Gambit Protected Fearless, Zach Martin with Nasty Streak, Trent Williams with Edge Protector. Okay, so we are going to have to make some changes here. Out of these three, who shouldn't get an ability? I think Travis Kelsey could kind of do without Double Me. I don't think he needs it. So we'll leave Tight End Apprentice, but take Double Me off. Looks like I might not be able to use Nasty Streak on my guards unless I change something. I think my Edge protectors are too important. Yeah, it looks like our guards got shafted. We did pick these guards because they had nasty streaks, so the option is available to us. My goal is to get all the way to the Super Bowl, right? So I could technically change my game plan, but as of right now, with how it's lined up, I think this is perfect. As of right now, though, we do not have any depth. We have no backup halfback. We have no backup tight end, and backup tight end will definitely get used. This OJ Howard's actually insane, but for the purposes I'm going for, which is like a blocking tight end, he's not good at all. He's a horrible blocker, but he's fast as shit. George George Kittle's run blocking is 89. I think George Kittle's the move. I've never seen or used this George Kittle card. Straight up didn't know it existed. Oh my God, I'm building a little Niners thing here. Jimmy G, George Kittle, Trent Williams. Although, okay, I'm not sucking off the Niners because George Kittle's just a backup. It's very unlikely George Kittle will get serious reps. So wide receiver four will be George Kittle. And most of my iForm sets, I'll probably just sub Kittle in for Jalen Waddle. Team is looking beautiful. I'm gonna go beast mode here. This is actually a pretty easy decision. This beast mode was on my favorite halfbacks for forever. Uh, he's only 65K. Puts us at 4.8 mil, so we didn't go exactly half, but that's pretty damn good for the offense right here. So we'll throw beast mode in there. Beautiful offense is done. Obviously, defense needs an overhaul. This I don't plan on this being my defense, if any of you were wondering. My first buy on defense is going to be the most ridiculous edge rusher in this game, in my personal opinion. Harvest Lawrence Taylor. This card's so fucked up. So he gets two AP edge threat. He gets zero AP pick artists. Like, if you just want it for free, you can have it. Not to mention... He's 91 speed with 94 block shed, 92 power moves. I've used him once before, and the one time I did, I've never had so many sacks in a game. Lawrence Saylor will be coming off an edge, no question. The next purchase is another no-brainer for me. I'm sorry you guys have to see this same card, but that's because he's so good. No one compares. There is not a middle linebacker in this game that compares to this Isaiah Simmons. He's 93 speed, 6'4". I believe he gets one AP lurker. One AP lurker. Yes, he does. He's literally so good. This is the best user. A lot of people like their strong safety. Safeties, I agree with that. But if you put Lurker on a middle linebacker, they become a strong safety. Isaiah Simmons can light people the fuck up. Yeah, this is a no-brainer. Left outside linebacker, another Wheel of Mutt legend, Micah Parsons. There's a good reason for it. He's insanely fast. He gets off the edge like crazy, 6'3". I might not give him edge threat because he has 3 AP edge threat elite. So I don't think he'll get an ability. I think Lawrence Taylor is going to be our guy that comes off the edge. But Micah doesn't really need it. He's going to be really good regardless. And I very rarely use an MLB 2, so this is 
isn't a super important position to me, but I'm actually going to pay homage to a card that I didn't know existed. I was making a video a while ago and someone told me to use Ray Lewis and I told them, I was like, no, sorry, Ray Lewis doesn't have a card. That's not true. Ray Lewis very much has a card. It's nasty. So I'm going 92 Ray Lewis as MLB2. Don't expect him to get a lot of reps. Sorry, Ravens fans. Now we grab corners, one of the most important positions on defense. I personally believe on defense, there's three really important positions right now. Number one's your user, whether that's a strong safety or middle linebacker. Number two is an edge threat. Number three is tall corners because ag catches the meta. Like I'm sure Aeneas Williams was a stud when he played. I don't know much about the guy, but this is not a corner that I can use. I don't care how good his stats are. He's five foot 11. He's going to get agged on by like Cooper Cup, bro. He get agged on by anybody. Now on the flip side of that coin and the reason he's 450,000 coins and other harvest cards are 300k is rookie Tariq Woolen. Zero AP tip drill, which is actually a crazy good ability because people always go for the ag catches. You either catch it or it gets tipped, right? Most importantly though, he's six foot four. He also has crazy good speed. He could keep up with Jalen Waddle or anybody's fastest card. He's also a limited, so he is a little more expensive because of that. But if you've got the bread for it, in my personal opinion, an absolute must buy is Night Train Lane. Night Train Lane might be the best defensive player in the game right now. You can go talk to a pro player if you want and see like the actual best player, but Night Train Lane is 6'1". If he was 6'3", it'd be undisputed, but he's 94 speed. He hits like fucking Cam Chancellor, bro. That's the thing. If people got 95 primetime, bro, I could run over primetime with Deuce Vaughn. I might be able to put on pads and run over primetime in this game. Night Train Lane is the opposite. He'll light your ass up. Not to mention, he obviously gets really good abilities too, so I'm very happy with that buy. For our final corner, I actually like Pat Sertan better than a lot of the 94 corners because Pat Sertan is six foot two. Like if they're all 93 speed, I'm taking the tallest guy and that's Pat Sertan. 242K for Pat Sertan. We're down to 2.5 million. I gotta, I gotta be a little bit cautious here, right? For D tackle, I want a discounted inside stuff, which is gonna be Fletcher Cox. Damn, there are zero Fletcher Cox on the auction house. That's tough. The only other option is William Perry, the refrigerator. 92 overall, William Perry, the refrigerator. Fun fact, I have never used this card. He's 6'2", 335. So he's a big boy. He also has 93 Excel. <laughs> Just kind of insane. And then my second D tackle, I actually, I actually really like having good D tackles. They're pretty damn important. More than they have been in previous Maddens. I don't need inside stuff though, so I'm just gonna go with a solid 92 overall D tackle. Yeah, Merlin Olsen. This is your fucking QB spy D tackle right here. Not a guy I really care to pick up as a literal plumber right there, but whatever. I mean, you're not <laughs> wrong. Left and right end, I do not run edge threats on left and right ends. Just a personal thing. But Ed Tutal Jones is so amazing. This is like an undisputed pickup. He's so good. This is a six foot nine edge. This is a six foot nine edge rusher. Dude, the amount of times somebody has used this Ed Tutal on me and I'm trying to throw the ball and he literally just slaps that thing out of the air like Mr. Miyagi, bro. Volleyball spikes it right back into the turf. I haven't bought safeties yet, so I'm just gonna take Miles Garrett. Low key, I could have gotten Aaron Donald, but with 1.6 mil and I still need Strong safety, free safety, kicker. Not bad. Very manageable. Strong safety, free safety are two of my favorite, most crucial positions. If you saw my double or nothing grand finale, you probably know who I'm picking up here for free safety. I don't think there's a single card in this game that even holds, it doesn't hold a torch to 94 Steve Atwater. 94 Steve Atwater has one AP crusher, fucking dunks on people for one AP. 94 speedy, 6'3", 217. If I wasn't so obsessed with Isaiah Simmons, Steve Atwater would be an amazing user. I don't know. You could make the argument that Atwater is a better user. I think Isaiah Simmons is a much better true linebacker, but you only need one AP for Crusher on Atwater. Strong safety, I'd probably go Bam Bam Cam, who probably also gets one AP Crusher. Oh yeah, he gets one AP Crusher. He also gets zero AP goal line stuff. Completely free. He'll shed blocks on the goal line. So same safeties I had in the double or nothing grand finale. I have 800k left over. Uh, well, not entirely. I do gotta buy a kicker. Technically, I should buy a punter too. I don't know if I've ever bought an expensive punter. He is the GOAT. He is the greatest kicker of all time. We'll drop 350k on Jay Tuck. He gets one AP Zen and one AP focus kicker. Sure. I have never bought a punter. I've never gone on the auction house and bought a punter. Straight up. The best punter in the game is Cameron Johnston or Michael Dixon. Really? Maybe they're just not on the auction house right now. Oh, there's a 91 Ray guy, but he's NAT. So you had to get him from something else. Michael Dixon, welcome to my team. More, more fuck you money. 400 
140,000 coins. Let me go fill in my defense. Let's see what, if anything, we can spend that on. I really don't know what we could spend that on. I guess a corner for Nick. No, I have every position filled out. I'm gonna hit generate best lineup. I'm hoping we're at least a 92 overall, right? We should be 92. 92! 9.5 million coins spent. Let's see what it can get for you. So, William Perry, the refrigerator. I gotta add all his little pieces here. Boom, looking good. And the only thing I want on him is one AP inside stuff. Although he gets one AP crusher too. Now, Night Train Lane does get two AP Acrobat, which is actually really, really good. But my strategy with how good my players are is actually to play for the fumble. Because if you play someone who's really, really good, odds are you're both gonna score. It's gonna be a close game. And that one turnover is what's gonna determine it. Because if I'm shitting on somebody or getting shit on, one fumble's not gonna change anything. So I'm actually running the one AP Crusher on Night Train Lane. Crusher is my favorite ability in this game. You even hit a ball carrier like twice with Crusher and they will fumble. It's so good. Also gonna give Night Train universal coverage. If he gets one INT, he can activate that. So we're good there. Atwater is gonna be in the exact same boat. I think it's gonna be one AP Crusher and that's probably all I give him. Also give him universal coverage. Lawrence Taylor! So we're gonna give him unstoppable force. It is very likely to assume he can activate that with how good he is. And then edge threat for 2 AP to come off that edge hot. Now here's the bummer about Isaiah Simmons. You're gonna notice it's just expensive to give him the abilities you wanna give him. You gotta give him Lurker. And if you wanna run Crusher, it's three hole AP. And I do wanna run Crusher. Let's see how we're sitting right now. So Night Train Lane, Steve Atwater, Isaiah Simmons, Lawrence Taylor, and William Perry. We have three AP left. One of those is going to Cam Chancellor for his crusher, as well as his zero AP goal line stuff. Tariq Woolen gets a free ability, but I'm at 10, so I might actually give Tariq Woolen tip drill, unless that's what he gets for free. He does. He gets tip drill for free. Deep out zone KO is actually really, really, really good. That might be our final ability right there. I'm actually going to run deep out zone KO on Tariq Woolen. For the most part, I do run zone, and Tariq Woolen will be in a deep out zone. So that's what we're gonna rock. I think we might actually be ready. Ooh, no, 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 no. I got 440k left. I gotta go pick up Devin Hester. 93 Devin Hester for 239k. I'm actually gonna have money. I'm still gonna have money left over. He's also a really good wide receiver. Like, if you plan to use him, he's still damn good. But I don't think I'll have reps for him. With 200k left over, let's do a final overview before we try and win this Super Bowl. On offense, we have Jonathan Ogden, Ed Bud, Jeff Saturday, Zach Martin, and Trent Williams. We've got Travis Kelsey and George Kittle as our tight ends. We've got Megatron, Okoye, Jimmy G, Saquads with Beast Mode in back and Okoye in back if we need them. Cooper Cup, Jalen Waddle, George Kittle as wide receiver four, and Devin Hester, our return man only at wide receiver five if we ever really needed it. And at our specialists, we got Saquon at both, Jalen Waddle at the slot, sub linebackers Isaiah Simmons, two tall William Perry, Miles Garrett and Night Train Lane at the slot. A 92 offense, a 92 defense. Will Daddy's credit card earn me a Super Bowl ring? I hope I don't set a good example here. Here's what I'm thinking, boys. Just enjoy Madden Ultimate Team through my videos. Don't give EA your money. Monkey see, not monkey do. Monkey pee all over you. <laughs> First round of the playoffs, God Squad in hand. If I lose now, I'm a sweaty loser. Megatron, Night Train, and Saquon. I just realized two of my top three are Lions. He's got Remus, Night Train, and Primetime. You know, I love when they have Primetime. I'm not even kidding. That Primetime's nice, all right? But there's nothing I love more than sending my halfback out to the edge and meeting Primetime. It's a free broken tackle every time. I assume I don't need to make any substitutions. There's Lawrence Taylor. Oh, he's five wide early. Where? Dude, get the fuck out of my game. Why would you? I'm actually so mad at you, bro. I could have done that with a 55 overall bronze. They don't even make bronze cards anymore, and I could have done that with them. You lip. I'm so upset. <laughs> All right, we'll see if we can get the stretch. Dude, he's got a squad, though. But he's got a squad. Let's see if Okoye can get us this. Don't need it. Saquon's too fast. Eight to zero. There's seven seconds off the clock and I get ball at half. This shit is over. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Nice work, boys. Second and seven. Pick artist. I forgot pick artist. He throws the whip. Ooh, that was kind of like a, that was kind of like a pseudo screen that's set up so nicely. Ooh, it's not. That's fine. Ooh, I was about to get another one. Dude, and I know, I know it's Lawrence Taylor and I should blitz him every time, but this Lawrence Taylor is actually like good in coverage too. I'm going to drop everybody in coverage. He's trying to throw these short little checkdowns. Idiot. No. Ah, oh, Miles. I switched on to Miles Garrett too. I just didn't get it. Tough. More of the same. Oh. 
Wait, what? He broke those five tacklers? I'm impressed. Oh, that's stuff. Let's go. Two tall Jones was back there. I got refrigerator and a QB spy. I got an underneath right there. That is so unbelievably clamped. Where are you throwing? And two tall might be fast enough to all the way house this. Come on, two tall. Come on, two tall. 96 yard pick six. I legitimately have not played offense and he's gonna rage quit. I haven't touched the ball on offense. Three minutes in, 14 to zero. It's over. The more handsome QB wins. Sorry, Tom Brady. NFC championship coming up. They don't make it any easier. I shouldn't be cocky though. If I play somebody good with a good team, I, I could very well get my, my ass handed to me. Big play Slay, Carmichael, and Woodson. Interesting top three. The big play Slay is like 600K. He's more expensive than Night Train Lane. But the rest of that top three didn't scare me too much. All right, we'll send Lawrence Taylor here. Who's he got? Shady McCoy? Jet Sweep. Oh! <laughs> Honestly, it got me. Like, I thought that was a jet sweep, but Lawrence Taylor, there's his first sack. I got a bl Oh, I didn't get the blitz off on Lawrence Taylor. No bueno. But I will get the INT because he's going to throw a dumb one. Yep. Ooh. That's why you run tip drill right there. We ended up hitting him instead of tip drilling him, though. All right, I'll blitz Lawrence Taylor. I'll hover middle. And I just hope he doesn't throw right side. I need him to throw left side. He got nothing. He got nothing. Big time nothing. This Is this game over, too? <sighs> Cam! Oh my god! This is the playoffs, guys. Is, is everyone remember that this is the playoffs? Flattened! Saquon! Snap! High ball! Caught! Get fucked! That's literally fuck you! That's literally- I pulled out my dad's credit card, I pressed my receiver's button, and I dicked on you. I think he had- he might have just unplugged his Xbox. The, I don't really- I don't usually get the attention screen that long. He's gotta be gone, right? He did leave. I'm in the Super Bowl already! We're not gonna get any- we're not gonna get any gameplay out of this. The Super Bowl! Well, boys, you can't ask for much more. Dude, imagine this was a Wheel of Mutt. Imagine those were my two Wheel of Mutt playoff videos, bro. Two minute rage quit, one minute rage quit. Shadow Dub City's got Megatron, Big Play, Rogers. It's the Super Bowl. Why is there no, like, Super Bowl, like... It says NFC Championship on the field, but I'm fairly certain this is supposed to be the Super Bowl for me. I might have counted wrong, actually. Lawrence Taylor off the edge. Let's see if he runs it. I don't really expect him to. Might throw Etienne. God... I don't think he throws that again. That corner route is so open. All right, crusher hit. Ooh, kind of fought through that. We didn't get the crusher there. I'm on everything. Oh, is that a sack? Second and 24. No, corner route, corner route, corner route, corner route. Hey, nice breakup. That's kind of a lucky breakup. I think he should have came down with that. Ooh, we need a bigger hit there. Gotta hit him harder there. Fourth and nine. He's gonna no huddle it. Isaiah! Oh, Matt. Fuck. I didn't see him. I didn't see him. I didn't like see him, guys. All right. I, I thought it was just my safety bag there. Oh, what a loser. Here. Yeah. See ya. Got met by Isaiah Simmons and Cam Chancellor. Play action. He sacked. He sacked. He sacked. He sacked. Or he... No way. Holy shit. I know I pitched it away, but this guy's bailed. Those were two INTs. Fourth and three. Take your points, buddy. If you know what's good for you. I'm dropping a lot into coverage here. I think he's going to panic throw. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. We turned that guy over twice in one drive. Technically, somehow. But hey, great work, Cam. I, I got lucky on that one. I don't think I should have gotten that. All right, dude. We got to get our guy. We got to use our players. We haven't been able to do a damn thing yet. Let's go Waddle. We haven't used him yet. Holy shit. No way did I just torch you. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is so dumb, actually. This is just so fucked up, man. Just took the top off the defense, bro. Let's get the two point. Uh, I tried to get behind a Koye. Maybe I should have gone edge. Big hit, big hit. Nice. Atwater with a big one. The big boys are there. It's third and six. He lost yards on that one. I'm sending an all out blitz. I'm going with Isaiah Simmons. Play action. It's play action. It's play action. <sighs> Fuck. Oh, I thought that was play action. Parham got rocked. I'm going to play underneath the Miles Garrett in case you up. Bingo. Right here, right here, right here. Whoa. That's happened so many times. I'm holding Y. Hey, and in the Bible. See, that's supposed to be an INT too. I'm sitting on that. He might go Etienne again. I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> what did I say? What did I say about Crusher? God, it's so good. So Night Train Lane blows up Parham like two plays prior. On the next one, Micah blows him up too. And all of a sudden, he's too fatigued to hang out to the ball. That's also what you get. Because this guy has a great team. But he's still running 86 overall down on Parham. Who I guarantee does not have like the carrying stats that he wants there. You did not just let me... Oh! 
Shit. Oh my god, you're so open, Saquon. Wait, hard cut? Oh, nice tackle. Uh, let's go right here. I didn't even have to highball that. That was so open. I was gonna highball Agim, but it's... It was just open. All right, beautiful. Let's hand off Saquon. I don't want to forget about our goat here. <laughs> Get the edge. Nice blocks. Jalen Waddle with an amazing block. Two amazing blocks. I was shit talking him. Those were awesome. And then Cooper Cup coming across is a touchdown here. He is. He is. He is. <laughs> what a ball. Jimmy G. Was that off the back? Was that rolling off the back foot? Oh, Jimmy G just activated Gambit. I'm just going to go quick base Saquon because he's got freight train. Let's go. <laughs> Dude, it's because of that momentum factor. There's a momentum factor called zoned in where if you're involved in scoring a touchdown and it's activated, you activate your X factor. It's so good. That's why everyone just lit up all at once. Oh no, I do. I just gave up a touchdown. I'm so poverty. Oh, wait a minute. He just highballed that. That gave me the opportunity to... <laughs> Dude, if he had just thrown that like regularly, I'm so out of position. And it doesn't matter. You could have had your touchdown. I was at William Perry and computer Isaiah Simmons lurked him. Damn, bro. He had me. Oh, that might be a touchdown. He might have guessed pass. Good Lord. This is so easy. <laughs> They're just running down the middle of the field. I could have gone for a hard cut. I just, I didn't even feel like it. He's there. <laughs> Remember when I said Gambit is amazing, you throw better passes and you can't be picked off by the AI? Did you notice how that AI defender reached his arms out and probably should have picked that off? Except he didn't switch on. It was impossible for him to get that lurk unless he had switched on. Two point conversion, Saquon up the middle, got lit up, but he's in. 22 to zero in the Super Bowl. I guess they're calling it the NFC Championship, but this is the Super Bowl to me. He could throw underneath to Etienne, that's about it. He is going up against just too much firepower, man. The odds are so stacked against him right now. Like, he's got a good team. I'm sure he's a good player, but you really don't even have to be that competent to do what I'm doing. Like, but I can make people <laughs> probably think I am with how fucking good this team is. That's a touchdown. That's oh, just yeah. so not fair. I'm so sorry, bro. Shadow Dub City, bro. I'm so sorry that you had to sit through this. Holy shit! This is fucked up. That's so fucked. All right, well, this is a certified hood classic. That was an absolute blast. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys are enjoying the daily uploads on all the channels right now. All three. Meegs, MMG, and MMG Live. And that's it. I'll save the Super Bowl. Or I guess the technical now Super Bowl for another video. All right, boys. I love you. Thanks for watching as always. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.